This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this van. It is a 2014 Honda Odyssey EX. It's a 3.5 liter front wheel drive EX. It has a very low miles, 67,611 actual miles. It was a repo we purchased directly from a finance company in San Diego. Uh, brought it out back to Tucson. Did an inspection this is what it looks like and it needed nothing uh, my guys right super clean runs and drive runs drives looks great repo San Diego car wash so clean it didn't need a detail we didn't even send it to detail this is pretty much how it showed up uh, minus the dust anyway I'm gonna walk around this thing I'll point at stuff I see cosmetically um, it's pretty minor stuff that you could probably fix in 10 minutes a little bit of touch up a little scuff here we think that this bumper at some point has been painted um, which of course is pretty common being a little thing like that and I think it says something about something in the uh, Carfax which I'll show you in just a second everything that we know you're gonna know uh, in these videos we tell you everything good and the bad I would say you've got tires here for probably another 10,000 miles they look like they're about 50% tread um, I do know the Carfax is excellent as far as service is concerned um, and I do know that uh, my guys, when they do their inspection, they love cars like this because there's not a whole lot to do. This park it makes basically. They said, "Do you really want to send it to detail? It's like already been detailed, and uh, just needs the dust knocked off it." I said, "Nope, that's good enough." So there you go. I wonder if the rear bumper's been shot. Usually, when somebody paints the front bumper they paint paint it back because they've got a painter there yeah I think it has I think it has they did a really good job but I think it has I mean there's no point usually a painter will, a good painter will charge 125 bucks a bumper so and usually on minivans especially there's been so much dragged across the back bumper that there's no point in not doing that anyway these uh this third seat will fold down in here if you'd like to do that Let's see. Boy, this is clean as hell. All right. Yeah, they are correct. All right, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start this thing up. We're gonna go under the hood. Then I'll walk around. We'll try all the bells and whistles it's got. Make sure everything's working right. So it says 67,615 miles. All right. Let me open up the... Uh, hood which is right there probably needs a hood prop so I'll be doing the one-handed thing here yikes <laughs> all right well there's what you want to see you want to see the VIN on the hood which means it's the original hood so it has been replaced you want to see the VINs on the fenders so you know the fenders have never been replaced there's another one right here so it just need it probably I know it doesn't have an accident in the Carfax so they probably just wanted to clean up some scuffs or something. There you go. All right, let's get this stuff done real quickly here. First things first, um, let's see, here's the Kelly Blue Book. Okay, for an Odyssey EX minivan with 67,000 miles. Typical listing price would be 15,980, 9, 13, uh, 13,598 to 17,491. Uh, typical listing price is 16,000. That seems really cheap with the miles in this and the conditions in. But I don't make the uh, numbers, I just report them. There's your uh, Carfax, no accidents reported, damage reported. They probably filed an insurance claim where they probably wrote it into a bush or something and needed those. Uh, so the title's guaranteed, no major title problems, which is great. And it says, doesn't even give you, oh, it says right here, damage to front, yeah. So I don't even know if they replaced the bumper cover. It looks like they just painted the bumper cover and they probably should have replaced it. It's got those little nicks in it, but whatever. Um, and after that, Honda took it in and sold it as a certified car. So they were fine with it. They don't do that. They're really anal there. 
Eh, recall stuff, floor strikers, blah, blah, blah. The usual. So Whittier, California. 65,000 miles, 60, almost 70,000, 66,000, 65,907. Ontario, oil chain, body lubricated, blah, blah, blah. And that was the last report, all right? There's your manuals, a lot of manual there. All right, drivers, uh, passenger seat forward and back. Seat back and seat forward. That's kind of unusual to have a cloth power seat on the passenger side. That's kind of cool. All right. Oh yeah, you can't lock yourself out of these cars. That's what they do. <coughs> they won't let you lock them unless you're in the car with all the doors closed. I just remembered that. Ba -ba -ba. Let me see, how do we get that up there? We go like this pull on this and then go like that boom so there you go all right and then for this seat you do that and there you go pretty self-explanatory close <coughs> open not sure why they have that that does that aha and then you got to pull this to get it to go back there we go there then you go bang there's your bin here window 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 buttons are hot because it's already 100 degrees out in ouch up and down good luck covid <laughs> freaking hot man doors only been open like 30 seconds and those buttons are already hot all right let's see there's the driver button here there's the passenger button here and we'll close it that's closing and that'll close let's see what else da -da 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 -da. The seat forward and back, up, down, tilt forward and back. Let's see, tilt wheel, up, down. What else we got going on here? Oh, it's hot. I know one thing, it's nice to have some AC like this. All right. Let's see. Radio. Channel. So I'm doing that from the steering wheel, right? Let's see. Mode. So how do we do this? I don't even know how I'm doing this. There we go. down here got an auxiliary port here power USB let's see Ding. let's see boom got the little gremlin viewer god it's nice to be in here man it was freaking hot all right let's see cruise control boom on and off Windshield wiper. Ba, ba, ba. Okay, let's see what else we got. AC. Now, temperature. Okay. All, stuff. All right, let's go for a ride. I gotta go pick up one of my guys anyway, so we're gonna go down I 10. Turn the fan down a little bit so you can hear me. I know one thing, it works great. Get that AC right on me. Whew. All right, if you come to Tucson and drive this thing home, you got a great vehicle to ride, drive home in. Excellent road trip car. You will pay the following. You will pay your state tax rate, whatever that is, plus our city tax of 2.7% and a $250 dock fee. Um, if you uh, pay by wire and ship out of state, 
all you're going to pay is agreed upon price. There'll be no tax, no dock fee, nothing. Um, once we receive full payment by wire, fill out the title with your name or your company's name and address, sign it off to you, scan it into our, your online file, and then mail it to you. We even scan in the envelope, we mail it in, all right? Um, you will have this Odyssey shipped to you. Uh, the title will already be in your mailbox before it shows up. I like the fact that it goes into eco mode on these things. See eco? Save you a little bit of gas when you're not hard on the throttle. Um, anyway, uh, if you need any help with shipping, let us know at the beginning of the transaction. We can help. Um, we can roll it into the price of the vehicle, the shipping into the price of the vehicle, and do it for you. Or you can do it all yourself. It's up to you, whatever you want. But let us know at the beginning if you need help. Um, deposit is $500. We'll see you have an agreed upon price. Please get your, uh, your uh, uh, deposit in, all right, so that uh, it comes off the market and you don't spend a bunch of time on a vehicle that somebody else got out from under you, all right? That happens once in a while. People will make their offer in the morning, go home, tell their wife, uh, oh, let's check this out, and they'll look online and it's sold already to somebody else who actually made the deposit. That happens, all right? So, uh, what else? What else? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Last part of every video, I say the same thing every single time. Um, we don't have bottled water with our name on it. We don't have a lounge to hang out in all day. We don't have salesmen that annoy you and that we have to pay. Um, we don't have a beautiful location. You just saw it. Somebody, a parts guy just brought his uh, crappy parts truck in uh, and it crapped all over our gravel right next to the van. Like, that's what goes on in our place, right? All we do is tell you what's wrong with the car, tell you what's uh, going on with the history of it, what we've done, what we know about it, uh, give you the car facts, the Kelly Blue Book. That's what saves you money. We also don't charge you for salesmen and bottled water and all that crap. Uh, they also know at the, uh, at the new car dealership if they sold you this vehicle on their used car property, that if something happened to it or something broke, that they would have to fix it. You'd come in and say, fix my car. I just paid a fortune for it. And they'd say, yeah, you did. Uh, so they would fix it. Well, uh, they charge you for that in advance. We don't, therefore, we aren't fixing your car. Now, this is a Honda Odyssey that clearly uh, was very well taken care of. It's a beautiful car. We got about five more minutes of, there's, by the way, it's got a right-hand turn uh, deal on it, so you can watch the right-hand turn, which is kind of cool. Um, you know, clearly we're well, well taken care of. It's a nice car, but I'm not Nostradamus. My shop's not Nostradamus. We're not going to tell you it's not going to break because there's not a single car out here. There's not a single car in our inventory that's not going to break. They're all going to break. It's when, okay? So because you're saving a bunch of money buying from us because of the way we do things um, and you're well informed, you will be the owner on day one and you will be expected to take care of your car regardless of when it breaks and it will. All right, um, now, that being said, this thing runs awesome. In fact, I'm supposed to go to Phoenix to pick up a few vehicles we bought, and if this thing wasn't already for sale, like it's gonna be this afternoon, I'd put everybody in this and go up and back. This would be a nice car to take everyone up there and drive things back from Phoenix Head. Beautiful car. All right, let's, uh, let's uh, merge a little bit. Boom, boom, boom. So I can have a video that's 17 minutes and 38 seconds. So I'm gonna do that for you, so you can see it. We're at 1346. So I know there's cops up here too, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna haul ass because I ain't getting a ticket right before Memorial Weekend. Maybe I'll get a ticket on Memorial Weekend, but not before. Not on the Friday before. Beautiful car. doing all this construction on I-10 right here between Prince and uh, Ruthrop. And this is the little 55 mile an hour zone that they have, this little route here, a little kind of. And usually, in the mornings at least, the cops like to hide under this tree right up here in the shade and zap you. Uh, but I think it's a little too warm for even him to be here. Yeah, and its shade is gone. He likes to sit right there underneath that tree. No tree, no cop. Boy, this thing runs good. 
And our interstate, if you can tell, is horrific. It's like I mean, barely a high speed road. I mean, God, if you were to go 70 on this thing, you would kill yourself. Got a great ride on a bad road. All right, let's try not to get a ticket here. I'm actually, going to Mission Beach on uh, June second, and if this thing's around on June second, which I doubt. Might actually have to be going. Hmm. I don't know. We, we shall see. Did I just say Memorial Weekend? It's not. Wait a second. I'm I'm a mess. Today is the 22nd. May 22nd is. Wait a second. When is Memorial Week? I thought it was the end of the month. Anyway, I'm babbling. This thing's badass though. I'd drive this thing in a minute to New York City right now. Although, I would probably have to bring a, like, bubble wrap myself to go there. Maybe I wouldn't go to New York City. Maybe I'd go straight on through to Maine or something. I'm gonna go north of New York City, around it. seconds left of video for you. I gotta get off here at Ina Road. Go to Discount Tires. Pick up one of my guys. It's kind of nice to show you the vehicles on uh, I-10 because you can see them at a real speed. This thing rides great. Beautiful car. Excellent people mover. That's about it. Thank you.